Good morning. Hi there, Patrick. You know, one of the things that the union was here to do was to make several demands of the mayor as well as CPS. The question is, what will happen if those demands aren't met? Now, the union leadership that was here today said it was really up to union members, and they do have a meeting tonight. But one thing that they would not take off the table is perhaps trying to delay the start of the second semester. Outside Park Manor Elementary School, a school hit especially hard by COVID before winter break, members of the Chicago Teachers Union take turns stepping up to the mic and explain first why they are there. We have 10 staff, including our principal, plus 25 students who've now tested positive in the last two weeks, with 75% of our students quarantined. They then asked the mayor and CPS for a safety plan both sides can agree on when schools reopen in the new year. We are scared to start on January 3rd without a testing and protection we need in place. Before winter break, CPS had one of its worst weeks of COVID infections, which also meant moving more than 1,000 students and staff who had close contact with positive cases into quarantine. Yet the mayor does nothing to acknowledge the fact that these members and parents and students are risking their lives and their health every single day that they come in dedicated to work. Mayor Lightfoot, do something to help them do their job. CPS says it has spent hundreds of millions of dollars on mitigation efforts. The Chicago Health Department, however, does expect COVID cases to continue to rise throughout the city heading into 2022. Come January 3rd, the board needs to have rapid COVID tests for everybody entering those buildings. CPS is asking students to get tested before heading back to class. And before winter break, CPS got 150,000 take-home COVID test kits to schools that were struggling with COVID. They want parents to FedEx the kits back by today to ensure results before kids are set to come back to school. Now, obviously, we have reached out to the mayor's office as well as CPS. Right now, we are waiting to try and coordinate a time with Chicago Public Schools. Hopefully, have an update for you on that in the noon hour. For now, we are live in the Greater Grand Crossing neighborhood. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.